example three, change it a little bit again. Okay, so again, same problem. And again, assume that gravity is not in the plane of the board. So gravity doesn't do any work. So I'm dragging along this thing, but now the x component of the force depends on the x position of the particle of the object. The y component of the force depends on the y position. Okay? How would I do that? Oh, okay. Now the force is variable, right? 2x i hat minus 3y j hat. So I'm going to have to do an integral. So I'm going to have to take a little element of the displacement vector, dx i hat plus d, dy j hat. And then I'm going to take the dot product. And I could do two integrals. And here the x goes from 0 to 15. Here the y goes from 0 to 5. You see, so in order to find the work in this case, you have to apply the integration and then apply the work. So 515 squared is uh, 20, 225 minus 3 halves of 25. So again, the y component of the, the work, the y component of the force is doing negative work, fighting against the x component of the force. But this time the work is really large, oh, uh, more than any of the previous cases. The force, uh, this one here, the y component ended up not doing that much negative work. So what is that, uh, 180, 190 something? You see? So a lot more work. And then if I want to find the final velocity, again, I set it equal to half mv final squared, you see. Now notice and something interesting here. The work, the final work didn't depend on the path. In other words, this problem, I never used the fact that the line was a straight line. Okay? It could have gone like this. It could have gone from here and ended up 15.5. And if I use the same force, what would the work have been? Using a different path. As long as it goes from 0, 0 to 15, 15, 15, 5, what would the work have been? Still 187. This kind of force is called as a conservative force. Okay? And later on, we'll talk more at length about conservative force. Conservative force is a force whose work doesn't depend on the path taken. Work doesn't depend on path. Okay? Now, example four, I'm going to change it around a little bit.